I eat super boring Chinese food. Chicken fried rice, sweet and sour deep fried wonton. If I'm in Canada, I get chicken balls. But when I go to Chinatown to get takeaway, there's still a certain element of authenticity. Today's recipe is, I don't know if I would call it borderline racist, uninformed. Today's recipe is called chop suey and it's not authentic anything. The cookbook has about six different recipes, all called chop suey, all totally different, and not a dash of soy sauce in sight. So like, I know I'm not fooling anyone when I get chicken fried rice and chicken balls, but I still feel like the ingredients that are being used at the restaurant are, you know, Chinese inspired. I Googled chop suey because I actually thought like I was going crazy. Maybe I don't know what it is. So imagine my surprise when I discovered that chop suey is a pile of rice with an assortment of vegetables and meats and sauces on top of it. I do know what it is and it's not what I made today. Like many others, this recipe has basically no instructions. It tastes like three or four day old spaghetti meatballs that have just been like sitting in the fridge and then you take it out and it's been on the counter for a couple hours and you're like, oh, that's right, I was gonna make spaghetti and meatballs and like reheat it and then you reheated it in the microwave and then and then you eat it. It's all just very a very squishy little bowl of stuff. I think there's onions in it. If I went to a restaurant and ordered chop suey and I got this, oh, you thought that I ordered something completely different. It tastes okay. Definitely say there's nothing Asian about this. The noodles are spaghetti-like. Very squishy. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh.